welcome to my allotment. Today I'm going to be showing you my raspberries, when I prune them, how I prune them, and the difference between the different varieties. Now, if you've not already subscribed to my channel, if you could please do so, because you'll get lots of helpful hints and tips all throughout the year from my home garden, my allotment, and also my home kitchen. So, first of all, the Autumn Bliss, which are the ones that are fruiting now. So I'm actually picking these currently. So this is one of the jobs I'm going to be doing today. So these ones, I will not be pruning these yet because obviously they are fruiting. So this would be the wrong time to prune these ones. What I have done, however, is I have tied some of them back a little bit because they can get quite heavy and fall on the floor. So I have been tying them back. I've got very, very strong string because the thick stuff will just will snap. So quite thick stuff like this actually I've managed to get, which is quite handy. But yeah, make sure that the string that you secure, that you use is good to secure them and hold them back. So I will not be pruning these at the moment. These I will be pruning in about February time and I will literally cut them down to the floor. I know that seems a little bit brutal, but the Autumn Bliss ones, you cut them right down to the bottom and they grow back every year. So that's how I look after those. If we move over to the summer fruiting varieties, now these have already produced all the raspberries they're going to produce for this year. And these are the ones that are going to be producing around June, July next year. So I will get my secateurs. And if you just follow me in to the fruit cage. And if we come over, this is a really good example of my summer fruiting ones. What we do here is we remove all the dead wood and you cut right down to the base of the plant. You also remove what I would call the straggly new growth. We only want to encourage the strong looking growth. So if we have a look here, there's some really, really woody bits here. These are the, the, the canes that I got my fruit off this year. So we go right down to the very bottom and we snip them right off. And I will chop them up and put them on my composter. So all those ones there, like so. And I will, I will remove those and put them on the compost. So the other things, like I said, the straggly ones. So if we have a look here, this is a really thin straggly one. So this will be the kind of cane, in fact, both of those I will get rid of as well. So all those will go. So all you'll be left with are the stronger, healthier looking ones, and then I'll tie them up to secure them for the winter, to keep them safe and secure. And again, there's a couple more down here that need to come out. That one's not... There we go, another. You can really tell the difference. So the difference between the two, you know, brown and green. So it's really, really easy to tell the difference with your summer fruiting variety. It's not difficult at all. So it's one of those jobs you can be doing over the next week or so, which will, be, which will then provide you with fruit for next year. Now, as you can see, I've got lots of berries here. So these are producing really well. These are my Autumn Bliss. So I'll be picking all these off before I go. One thing I would say about Autumn Bliss and the difference between the fruits is the fruits you get off of your summer ones keep much better and they're generally much firmer and larger. Whereas the Autumn Bliss are generally a little bit softer and they don't keep as well, but they're perfectly lovely to have with some porridge or some meringues or something. But yeah, just a word of warning, they don't keep quite as well but they are still perfectly lovely and give you a nice flourish of raspberries in the autumnal months. Now, I really hope that's helped and given you lots of hints and tips. And I'll be really interested to see how everyone else is doing um, with what you're getting up to at the moment. 